Hi guys, uh, Borky here from Inceptor Gaming and this is my 11th day at trying to complete the 1984 campaign on Cold Waters. Okay, so just picking up from the, here from the previous mission. Uh, Norway defended on my last run, so that was that taken care of. Um, I had to defend Norway for enemy landing force, which I did. Now it's back to base to rearm and repair. Oh, what's going on? Bit of a news report here. Uh, allies free West Germany. Things are looking good. Um, I have failed a couple of missions uh, throughout just because I couldn't get there in time or whatever. But overall, I've completed more missions and failed. So finally, the Blues are kicking the Reds backside and we're making progress. And here's the achievements to date. As you can see, I think I've maxed out all the medals possible to get now as well. Uh, so I'm doing quite well. Uh, doing better than I expected, to be fair. Ooh, enemy Oscar or Charlie class submarine is attempting to break out through the Denmark Strait. Oh, this could be a good mission. It's not very often I get to see uh, an Oscar or, uh, or Charlie, so uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see what we can come up with here. I don't think I've ever seen an Oscar submarine in the, in the game that I've come up against. Maybe once, but I don't think so. Okay, so let's move up here now to Denmark Strait, get in position. Uh, top of the map, I believe that's the enemy probably coming towards us there. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, there we go, there's our enemy. I must admit, I do quite like fighting in the Denmark Strait just because the water is nice and deep. And even though I'm only using the Skipjack submarine, which has a test depth of 700, I can take it down quite easily to a thousand feet uh, because crush depth is, is always much deeper than test depth. Um, I believe for US submarines normal crush depth is um, one third more than whatever the state of test depth is. Okay, always go watch quiet when I start a mission. I want to hear as best as possible, especially when using uh, the old submarine here because detection ability of it is not that great compared to some of the uh, newer submarines. And also by going uh, silent it means I'm less detectable to the enemy, but in 1984 with a 1960s era sub, it's, uh, you know, it's not that good anyway, so. There we go, let's take it down to 1,000 feet. As I said, test depth might only be 700 feet, but the crush depth of this boat is something like 1,050 feet or maybe a little bit over 1,050. So if I take it down to a thousand, it gives me the best fighting chance I can. Also as well, it gives enemy weapons uh, more time to get to me and also more time for me to evade them. I normally like to drop the speed down nice and slow before I'm detected to two knots as well. That also increases your detection ability of enemy units. A nice little uh, broadband waterfall uh, when I look at the sensors uh, page, goes nice and nice and clear. Usually on the on two knots only. Okay, let's speed things up here. Okay, there's my first target. By the look of the signature, I'd say it's definitely a submarine. Is it the one I want, or is it uh, an escort protecting it? Okay, it looks like an Oscar SSGN. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine, which incidentally is the same type of submarine that uh, Kursk was, which was sunk in uh, 2000, I believe it was, when it had a uh, a faulty torpedo set off the other torpedoes in the torpedo room. Very tragic and very sad for all those men, but uh, let's crack on. Looking at the loadout of the enemy submarine as well, it's quite a threat actually, I've got to be quite careful. Even though it's a boomer, or bomber, as we say in the UK, um, you know, SSN-16 missiles, they've got a good standoff range, and also USA-80 torpedoes. They're, they're probably pretty close to a Mark 48 in terms of capability, so with a 3000 detection range as well. So uh, I've got to be quite careful with this target, to be fair. This is not uh, going to be a walk in the park.
OK, secret range of the SSN-16 is only 1,500 yards, but it can fire from a long range. There we go. What I was saying about the use of 80 torpedoes, they're pretty, yeah, they're pretty, pretty capable. So I'm going to have to be very careful with those. Also, as well, the Oscar, I believe, is a double-hulled uh, submarine, so it's actually quite tough to beat. Um, they were designed originally, if I recall correctly, to be able to take at least one torpedo hit and survive. Uh, so I'm going to have to play my cards with this one quite carefully. Okay, solution is only 44%, so that could basically be totally wrong in terms of his distance to mine. But I am concerned, though, if he really is that close to me, because, uh, like I say, he can probably counter-detect me quite easily if, he, if, he's, uh, if he's suspecting there's an enemy in the area. Well, that is close, that is stupid close, that is well within... Oh, well, there he is, he really is that close. Right then. For this, I'm going to fire off about two or three torpedoes, I think. I don't want to give them any chance whatsoever. And I'm probably going to evade as soon as I launch my torpedoes at him, because from that range, yeah. If I hang out there, I've activated, I've activated to that one straight away, because I don't want to give an opportunity. There we go, three torps away. He's automatically fired back at me, which is understandable. I'm going to push my speed up. Yep. There we go. Counter measure away, and let's get out of dodge. Yeah, from this range as well, they're going to close on me really fast. Oh, torpedo one, blowing them up. Two, and three. Excellent. He's gone and now he can't. He's not going to withstand that. Now I've just got to get away from those other torpedoes. Uh, I'm going to climb nice and high, I think. Go, go to a shallow depth. There he is, going to the sea floor. Because what I'm hoping as well, I'm hoping those torpedoes will now find him. Now I've gone high, that they'll find him instead of me. Um, it looks like they're going for him. Passing 200 feet. Okay, ah, oh, they've both gone past him. Right, okay. Right, I just hope they don't find me. Come, come left to zero, zero, nine, eight, eight, no, nine. Help, I. Yeah, I'm maintaining a high speed here as well. I don't want to mess around, I just want to get out of there. Just going to reload my shot torpedoes. Okay, we're looking at I don't think those torpedoes are going to find me again now, but I don't want to take any chances. Um, and also, obviously, to end the level, I've got to be out of torpedo range anyway. Yeah. Drop the speed and down now at the moment because they're going to find him before they find me. Look at that, eh? I must admit, I'm very impressed by um, a lot of the US, uh, sorry, the, the Russian submarines. And there they go, they're homing on on him, even though he's already dead, that's fine. Nice one, well there we go, that's how you take down an Oscar II, or an Oscar submarine, at a very close range. Fire quickly and get out of there. Excellent, mission complete. There we go, leave combat. Oh uh, yes, of course. My command is very happy. Yes, that's fantastic. Mm, 
There's the obligatory news report. Soviet suits spook. Soviet, Soviet sub spooked. Sorry, can't get my words out. Um, I've got a new microphone, I'm also I'm trying to get used to, so uh, please forgive me. Oh, Carrier Battle Group. Okay. So this could be interesting. And actually, this is probably. Uh, probably going to be a good mission but I, uh, I'm i going to put in some counter measures and my tubes ready here for this one because I think these guys are going to be heavily protected and I am a bit worried about this one. But they're coming for the Denmark Strait again which is good. I do like fighting in the Denmark Strait, the water is so deep there it gives me uh, plenty of room to manoeuvre and fight. In. Taking the time to get to me then, wherever they are. Okay, come on, where are you? Aha, this could be it. Yep, contact. Double check my loadout, yeah that's what I want. Two countermeasures, Let's four to one. One contact right. Two knots maneuvering eye. Okay, let's start classifying these tracks. See what we've got here. See what I'm up against. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as escort. Oh, I believe there's a helicopter in the area as well. I can hear that somewhere. So that could be dangerous as well. Uh, taking on these uh, sort of carrier battle groups is one thing, but when they've got helos already in the air as well, that's yeah, they can make your life a misery. No, either I'm going blind or I genuinely can't see where these um, enemy vessels are. I mean, this visibility of that, that range, I would expect to see them. I'll get them classified up anyway. Usually I come to periscope depth when there's a surface action group just because if you can visually see them, you get range on them a lot faster than... Uh, then letting the sonar do it because you can just uh, laser, laser range to target and then that will tell you exactly what will give you the exact range and also a uh, fire solution straight away. Con sonar Sierra 4 is classified as merchant. Okay, there they are. So, Sierra 3, that is my main target. Um, even if I don't sink the others, I don't mind. As long as I get that one, I'll complete the mission. Hopefully I'll get them all, but my main focus is going to be uh, Sink Sierra 3, the Moskva. Uh, if I don't sink that, then the mission fails. Still can't find them anywhere. Usually by now, visually you can see them. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. Okay. Well, I can't find them, so uh, down scope. Okay, there's a thermal duct there. And about 200 feet, 250 feet maybe. Get my torpedoes up ready. Ideally, I want my fire solutions to improve as well, though, so it's going to take a while because I'm uh, reliant solely on sound for this. Yep, I'm going to take myself down below the thermal layer. Make depth two five zero feet, die by. It'll reduce my detection ability, but it'll also reduce theirs as well. Con 
Con sonar lost contact. Sierra, two. Last bearing, one, two, six. Contact faded. Yeah, that's what I expected. Plus, as well, uh, it means when I pick them up again, they'll be a lot closer to me, and I'll probably have a, a better fire solution a lot quicker than, uh, than if I just try and uh, stay near the surface. Come right to one, one, four. Helm, I. A bit of time compression here, speed things up for you. I love cold waters, but there's times where it would go on so, so long if you, uh, if you didn't have a time compression option. So I'm pleased we have that. And I'm still running at two knots to improve my uh, detection abilities as well. Con, sonar, regained con, helm, steady course. There you go, they're in a bit closer now. Oh, there's my main target in the middle there. Like I said, I do intend to get them all, but uh, if nothing else, that's definitely what I want to get. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two last bearing one three seven contact faded. Okay, they're using active sonar. But I'm below the layer, so that should protect me for a while at least. Okay, they seem to be heading north. So I might have to change direction shortly, there we go. Change Helm my direction. Helm left to zero, nine, zero. Helm, I. Okay. Con, Helm. I've decided to uh, come up a little bit higher as well. Because I'm going to shoot and scoot probably from above the layer. Oh, there we go. Aye, sir. There's already been uh, a launch. I've been counter detected, which I expected. Far off my countermeasures to confuse the enemy. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra four bearing one four three. Shoot two four. Yeah. Aye, sir. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra four last bearing one four three. Contact faded. Okay, you noticed straight away. I fired two Con torpedoes straight at my main target um, because I can only wild guide one torpedo as well. I'm gonna. Up my speed to 15 knots, uh, which should be enough to evade, and also not drop below the layer. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Mm -hmm. Bearing one, there three, you go. three. One's coming at me. Countermeasure on the way. There we go from behind me there. So that must have dropped in behind me. I don't know if that was a helicopter, possibly a helicopter. If I dropped that one. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, five. I've got a good solution on the uh, on the Mosfa if I don't get him in the first go. Con sonar, torpedo in the no water, torpedo. torpedo in the water, bearing one, five, zero. Yeah, there's a helicopter above me, that's what that, uh, that's what that is, uh, he's detecting me. You'll notice as well that I'm only using two, ballast zero, uh, six, controls two, here two, to change my depth at the moment as well. That way I can keep my wire guided torpedo on the go. Uh, and also, I still have some detection of ability feet. of my enemies if I'm only doing 15 knots. There we go, still a good uh, solution on him. Con, torpedo room, two, three, ready. Con, helm, steady course. There we go, get my tubes reloaded. A couple more countermeasures in the breach ready as well because, uh, like I say, this is quite a formidable threat I'm up against. Passing 600 feet. Yeah, another kind of as you go. Ballast minus 30. I might take this down to around about a thousand feet if I can. Again, as well, like I say, uh, having bit running running nice and deep. Even if you get detected, at least it gives you a lot of options when fighting. Um, surface vessels or when uh, having torpedoes launched at you from here. Yeah, one torpedo there has gone off to a countermeasure, so that's good. Now the Musk was uh, running away from me. Of course as well, if I'm going to, I'm going to plan to guide that one torpedo onto target, because even though he's running at quite a speed, at 30 knots. It also means if I get hit him once, feet. it will slow him down. Because it won't destroy him, the, the one torpedo, but it would definitely slow him if I hit him. There he 
there's another one coming for me, countermeasure on the way. There we go. Oh, I've been reacquired. Aha. Right then, let's just ready. use my ballast and just turn into it as well. It is surprisingly easy, to be fair, at 15 knots, if you're just using ballast adjustment uh, to evade torpedoes. Sometimes you might have to jink a bit from left to right. But, um, right to one, two, two, yeah. I say jink, jink's not really a nautical term, but, you know. Okay, one torpedo has exploded somewhere away from me, so that's good. Well, that Moscow has got a shift on, eh? He's really going for it. Come right to one zero oh, nine. Helm to I. Him. Come right to one one four. Helm I. Well, I'm reducing my descent now as well because I don't know. Uh, Sunny crashed to a thousand feet and on a thousand fifty, and before I know it, I um, I've killed myself by crush depth. Con sonar torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing zero five. Ah, another one. torpedo. Right. Okay. But it's only the one, so I should be able to that. Room, two, two, ready. Where is it? Ah, it's down low already, right. Okay, increase ballast and let a countermeasure go. I'll increase my positive buoyancy, I should say. Invade him that way. Well, at least my main torpedo is closing on my main target as well, so that's good. Come left to one Just zero direction. one. Help I. Con help. Passing nine hundred feet. If there wasn't so much going on, I would uh, probably time compress quite a bit of this. To be fair, but I have got a torpedo nearby, so I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Still coming after me. Passing 800 feet. There we go. Full starboard rudder whilst um, increasing my positive buoyancy. There we go, it should go underneath. Con, torpedo room, two five ready. Con, sonar, lost contact. I've oh, just noticed one, the Udloy's gone already, so uh, Torpedo fired at him, found him, so he's gone, that's great. Or one of the Udloy's, by, by the way, yeah. Assuming there is actually two, if I've classified them both correctly. But at least that's one less uh, enemy to worry about. Ah, the muscle is turning. Excellent. Only six minutes twenty about on the torpedo time left. So passing six hundred feet. And the camera measure there. Oh a few that torpedo's gone. Excellent. Right, so uh, my solution's dropped because I've now lost visual on the uh, on my target. Come left to one three two helm I Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. I just zero, see that as well nine, from my uh, broadband waterfall. Sonar, bearing, 15 knots two, still makes zero, it just five, about possible seven, to discern uh, your contacts. But it is, it is obviously harder than when you're going slow. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Although, there we go. Um, I do like Con, the fact my enemy control, has just let off a countermeasure, which basically gives me his exact position at the time of launch. Room, Excellent. Tube six ready. So oh, there he is. Now this isn't going to this isn't going to destroy him in one go, but it is certainly going to reduce his speed. So one hit is a start, and then I'll just have to finish him off. Con sonar noise maker bearing zero nine eight. Con sonar noise maker bearing one three six. There we go, come on. He's trying to evade me, but it's not going to happen. Con passing 600 feet. Oh, 
I must admit, I'm still taken back by how good the uh, ships do look in this game. There we go, that's a strike. Like I say, that's not enough to kill him, but at least it will have slowed him down. Sonar lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, one. Zero, two. Ah, and there's the other uh, right two. you'd like on as well. Three. Helm, I. So Shoot now two, all one. I've got to worry about is finishing him off and the helicopter above me because uh, my other surface contacts are dead. Come right to one, two, three, helm high. Con, helm, steady course. You see there, looking at my target, his speed has now dropped from 30 knots down to 19. So now he doesn't have a hope in hell about winning me. Make turns for two knots, maneuvering eye. And although I'm playing with the Skipjack submarine, which is the loudest, has the least quality in terms of detection ability and least arrangement of weapons, it does show that the Mark 48s, even on their own, without wide guns, are pretty darn good. So, you know, if you focus in purely on your main objective target first, concentrate on that, but also then maybe fire off a couple of other torpedoes towards your other enemies, um, you can get the job done that way. That's a good way to uh, to finish the level. Come on. This one torpedo should be all it takes now. There's a bit of time compression here. Speed things up. Con sonar, noise Ooh. maker, bearing one. Any drops of counter measure. <laughs> so, come on. I've got you now, you can get anywhere. There we go. Moscow Cruiser, 17,500 tonnes, quite a big ship. That's why it takes more than one torpedo. Any moment now, come on. Plenty of runtime left on the torpedo. Yeah, we got active just to uh, pick him up properly, so at least we can see him. There he is. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing <laughs> still one, trying to five, direct three. the countermeasures. That's not enough, my friend. This torpedo is wire guided. You are going down. Con fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra three. Last bearing, one, five, five, contact breaking up. And there we go, mission accomplished. So, I think I'm going to call it a day there for now, but uh, I'm very happy with that. First taking down the Oscar at very close range, which did surprise me to be fair. And now uh, the Moskva and also took down his accompanying escorts. So yes, I am very, very happy with today's play. He goes and also a finding as well the more I'm playing with the skip deck only the more I'm enjoying using it as well even though it's like limited in terms of capabilities and weapons and stuff it's actually quite a good boat you've just got to be a bit more strategic and uh, maybe plan a bit better how and when you use your countermeasures and stuff but overall it's not a bad sub so anyway thank you for watching until my next instalment, Borky out.